Do you know that while you're sitting on your study table and playing your favorite quiz on the MindWars app, you're actually moving at a pace of 1000 miles per hour? Yes, and this is because our planet Earth itself is moving around the sun at that pace. And we all are sitting on it, just like passengers sit in a bus. Even though they are at rest, the bus is still in motion, hence making them in motion. Okay, so let me ask you a question now. The current speed of the rotation of the Earth being 1000 miles an hour, agar is speed ko 17 guna badaya jaye, to kya hoga? Well, the answer is very simple. We'll all start to float just like an astronaut in the outer space. This is because at that speed, the gravitational force holding us to the ground becomes zero. Today, we are going to explore some of the marvelous features of our planet Earth. So without any further ado, let's find out what makes Earth one in a million rocks floating in the space. NASA, ISRO or SpaceX are some of the organizations which have been established to conduct research about the secrets of space and other planetary objects. Isitara, there are organizations of archaeologists around the world to find out the deep dark secrets hidden below the Earth. So now let me tell you some of the mysteries of our Earth which are hidden inside the core. What if we were able to start digging inside the Earth? Well, as we keep digging, we will uncover different layers. After the Earth's crust, the region over which we and other living bodies live, we will find the Earth's thickest layer, which is almost a treasure of essential rocks and minerals. This layer is called as Earth's mantle, which accounts 84% of the Earth's volume. And what do you know? When these rocks and minerals get heated up by the Earth's inner layers, then they melt in volcanoes. Ke roop le leti hai. After that, a depth of 2,900 kilometers, we will find the core of our planet. The Earth's core consists of an outer core, inner core, and a region that separates both of them, which is known as the Bullen discontinuity. The complete core is made up of iron and nickel. While the outer core occurs in a molten state, that is, in a liquid form with a temperature of almost 4,500 degrees Celsius, to 5500 degrees Celsius, the inner core consists and exists in a solid form at a temperature of 5200 degrees Celsius. Now, you think, what happened? liquid in one and solid state both. Hai. Well, its answer is that in such high temperature, the inner core exists in a solid state due to the extreme pressure of the overlying layers of the Earth and the layers upon it. The region of Bullen discontinuity keeps changing a part of it from liquid to solid state and vice versa, depending on dropping and rising temperatures of the Earth's mantle. This region is the hottest part of the Earth's core with a whooping temperature of 6000 degrees Celsius, which is as hot as the sun's surface. Vese kehne ko to volcanic eruptions ko natural calamities kehte hai. But isi ke zariye Earth hame essential rocks or minerals provide karti hai wo be absolutely free of cost. Ye to ho gai earth ke different layers ki baat hai. Ab hum wapas zameen pe aa jate hain. Kya aapne kabhi notice kiya hai? Rainy seasons mein terrace, roofs aur boundary walls pe ek green color ka moist sa layer ban jata hai. Ye dikhne mein to bahut chote chote hote hain, par actually mein ye khud ek group of plants hote hain with tiny leaves and stems. They are called moss. In their leaves, there are only one cell as small as possible. And whether it's soil or desert or even rocks, moss can thrive everywhere. They are also considered as one of the ancient species of plants dating back to almost 450 million years. This is possible because moss can live on a very little amount of nutrients and they can directly absorb water from the air. With the help of the specialized thin hair-like structures coming out of their leaves, also called as rhizoids. While moss seems like unwanted plants growing over your roofs, they actually contribute to nature in various ways. In icy cold regions, they act as a layer of insulator, restricting heat from reaching the surface of ice and hence protecting them from melting. In other regions, moss acts like sponges, 
soaking up rain water and keeping the soil moist which further helps other plants to thrive and survive moss also plays a vital role in the development of new ecosystems whenever there's a drought like condition moss which can grow in such harsh conditions bring back moisture to the soil hence helping new ecosystems to evolve this is why moss are often called as the survival experts among the plants whether it's snowy cold mountains or burning deserts they can be found everywhere even kuch species of moss 100 degree celsius se lekar minus 272 degree celsius mein bhi survive kar lete hain aur shayad isliye jis apocalypse ne dinosaurs ko earth se mita diya wo moss ka baal tak baka nahi kar payi next hamare list mein aate hain clouds we all know that clouds bring rain pleasant weather and a cool breeze with them that provide relief from the scorching heat of the sun but clouds not only cool down a small region but they also help in regulating the earth's global temperature by acting as an atmospheric blanket that reflects back a portion of solar energy coming from the sun back to the space it acts as a shield from letting this heat reach the earth's surface and do you know according to a study the global temperature can rise to 13 degrees fahrenheit if there would be no clouds even the formation of clouds is another amazing scientific phenomena when the sunlight heats up the surface temperature of the earth heated water along with moisture moves upward as they rise the temperature drops turning the moisture into tiny microscopic water droplets the cloud collects the suspended particles and dusts while rising up which acts as a nuclei for water droplets the water droplets continue to cool down on the surface of these particles until they combine into larger water droplets which eventually become heavy enough to fall as rain वैसे क्लाउड्स देखने में कॉटन कैंडी जैसे लगते हैं ना एकदम हल्के फुल्के पर क्या आपको पता है अ क्लाउड कैन समटाइम्स वे अप टू 500 टन्स एंड इवन मोर मे बी व्हिच इज ऑलमोस्ट इक्वल टू द वेट ऑफ 500 एलिफेंट्स एस्टॉनिशिंग राइट अब हम सीधे चलते हैं स्पेस की तरफ जहां से अर्थ कुछ ऐसा दिखता है एज एस्ट्रोनॉट्स कॉल इट जस्ट लाइक अ ब्लू मार्बल बट एज इट अपीयर्स परफेक्टली राउंड फ्रॉम हियर इज द अर्थ रियली राउंड चलिए देखते हैं रिसर्चर्स का क्या मानना है हंड्रेड ऑफ इयर्स अगो साइंटिस्ट यूज टू बिलीव दैट द अर्थ इज राउंड एज वेन दे ऑब्जर्व द बोर्ड मूविंग इन द सी दे फाउंड इट टू अपियर लाइक सिंकिंग एज इट रीच द होराइजन दे स्पेक्यूलेटेड that it could only be possible if the earth is round and not flat but later it was sir isaac newton who proposed for the first time that the earth isn't perfectly round rather it's bulged out in the middle which is near the equator he stated that the earth is an oblate spheroid later it was considered that earth's shape is more like an ellipsoid with a pudgier equator which is because of the centrifugal force generated by the earth's constant rotation however the recent studies reveal that the earth's shape keeps changing as the mass within the planet is distributed unevenly other factors like the movement of the tectonic plates the emergence of mountains and the formation of craters result in gravitational anomalies hence changing the shape of the earth but again ye changes itne chote hote hain ki earth roughly ek sphere jaisa hi nazar aata hai Last but not the least is the fact that the days are getting longer. While we all love the nights and the stars, especially if you belong to a hot and humid region, the sad news is that the days are stretching their span. This is a result of the gravitational pull by the sun and moon on the earth and their opposing centrifugal forces. We know that it's the earth's gravitational pull of the moon jo ki oceans mein tides form karti hai aur iska effect sabse zyada full moon और न्यू मून डेज में देखा जाता है पर इनका प्रभाव सिर्फ ओशंस पे ही नहीं बल्कि सॉलिड मटीरियल्स पे भी देखा गया है जियोलॉजिस्ट का मानना है मून और सन के इक्विवेलेंट ग्रेविटेशनल फोर्स से अर्थ पे जहां टाइड्स ऊंची उठने लगती है वही सॉलिड रॉक जमीन में और नीचे ढसने लगते हैं इससे अर्थ का रोटेशनल स्पीड कम हो जाता है एंड एज अ रिजल्ट डेज बिकम लॉन्गर एंड बाय द वे डू यू नो that this year the longest day in india was the 21st of june and it is called as the summer solstice so that was all about some of the marvelous features about our lovely planet earth ummeed karte hain har episode ki tarah aapko ye episode bhi acha laga hoga 
And if you want to know more about such interesting facts about our planet Earth, stay tuned to our future episodes because we'll keep bringing more and more such interesting facts for you. Till then, keep playing Mind Wars on Z5. Also, want to be the first one to know of the videos on the Mind Wars YouTube channel? Hit subscribe and click the bell icon. And remember, knowledge increases when you share it. So like, share and tell your friends about this video.